burnout, burnt out. It's a term that we hear freely in the adult world, in the business world, especially in the self-employment world, and seems to be something that a lot of people ask themselves, how can I avoid burnout and how can I get out of burnout? And when I asked myself this question, I decided to check out YouTube and decided to look around and see what other people had to say about this. And in the end, I realized I don't think I've ever been burnt out. And the reason why I don't think I've ever been burnt out is a lot different than the reasoning why a lot of people feel like they are burnt out. So one thing I've kind of concluded from watching all these different videos on YouTube is everyone seems to be burnt out for the same exact reasons. You feel like you're getting nowhere, you're treading water, you start comparing yourself to other people who might be way more successful in whatever they're doing, which is very unrealistic. In fact, you feel like you're not even motivated to do anything and you want to take time off. The remedies on YouTube, according to thousands of videos, seem to fall under the same four exact reasonings, same exact remedies, and that is one of the four is guaranteed for every single video. And that is one, you need to eat better. We need to eat the right foods. In fact, our bodies are what we eat. So we should eat better. You'll be happier. You have to drink better fluids as well. That's also another thing about consuming. In fact, you should probably even gain the right amount of sleep. Everyone loves their sleep. In fact, I think a reasoning why you're burnt out is because you're not getting enough sleep. Also, you need to exercise more. Lack of exercise might lead to lack of motivation. And lastly, the fourth reason when I see happen a lot is everyone says, hey, if you're burnt out, take some time off. In fact, all four of these things, I have a feeling nothing even deals with burnout at all. This is all about staying healthy, staying mentally in shape and physically in shape, is eating, drinking, having good sleep, taking time off towards yourself. That's all towards helping your mental and physical well-being. I have a feeling it has nothing to deal with burnout. So the reason why I ask myself why have I never been burnt out is because I've never really lacked that will or that desire. In fact, I've treated everything in my life kind of as a game, right? Burnout. Why is burnout a thing? It's because you lose motivation towards whatever you're trying to achieve. You're burnt out. You're done. You're tired. You're done with it. You need time away. But if you treat everything like a game or an event that you can either win, lose, or succeed or fail, you're not going to get burnt out. So changing up your mindset on life, changing up your mindset on your goals is probably the number one way I've kind of avoided burnout in my entire life. I thought this video was kind of creditable for this entire year, as our kind of our motto is, as well as last year. I feel like it's kind of stuck to itself in its own words. In fact, I think if you treat life more towards a game that you can win or you can succeed, you're going to always have that desire and interest towards being successful in whatever you're trying to do. Whether it's something from stuffing boxes with tissue paper or finding out the next spaceship that we can launch ourselves to the moon. Whatever it is, as long as you have that will and that desire to keep going, you're never going to be burnt out. So having that desire to win and that desire to succeed is going to be essentially the only way you can avoid this so-called term burnout. Stop comparing yourself to other people as other people live completely different lifestyles than you. Everyone from Elon Musk, Casey Neistat, Gary V, Taco Stacks, we all live different lifestyles, but we're all similar people in some sort of way. With that said, I think another huge thing that can possibly help you from feeling uh, burnt out in the future is setting some sort of realistic schedule. Set realistic goals and realistic schedule. Sticking to that schedule and sticking to those goals will help you decide if you're going to win, succeed, fail, or lose at whatever you're doing, but you'll still have that similar interest and that similar will and desire to compete at whatever level you're trying to compete at. Remember, in fact, everything even goes around with my content that I create on my channel. You know, when I do box lots at auctions, when I buy stuff at a thrift store, when I click submit on upload a video, that is essentially a victory for me for that day. When I see someone pick up something out of a box that they can show someone or a friend and say, hey, look, I remember when I had this as a kid. And they say, how much? And I say, oh, it's such and such. And they end up buying that. It's not necessarily about the profit. I didn't win because I made a profit. I didn't win because I succeeded at knowing that thing would sell. I won because I see someone else who's happy. I see someone else that enjoyed whatever I did, enjoyed, what I, enjoyed the decision that I made. Similar posting videos. When I see somebody respond, when I see somebody leave a comment, when I see someone hit the like button, 
I know that I won and succeeding that someone else enjoyed the entertainment that I provided. It's not necessarily about the X's and O's, but it's essentially about winning at whatever task I'm trying to compete at. Not might not be a competition in terms of, you know, the state championship or anything like that, but it's winning at whatever goal that I set aside for the day, the week, the month, the summer, the spring, whatever it might be. If I can win at that, that gives me motivation to compete at the next level, at the next game, the next mini game, essentially through whatever task I'm trying to get accomplished. Um, if I don't make sales, if people don't respond, if people don't hit the like button, if people don't watch my videos, I might have failed at what I did, but that will and that desire to have someone like the video, to have someone be interested in the products that I buy, that is essentially winning and has essentially the opportunity and the will and the desire to continue to compete. Um, although it might seem a little bit more difficult than just simply, hey, you need your sleep, you need to eat, eat healthy, you need to drink the right stuff, that is essentially how you get out of burnout and essentially get out of the burnout phase is creating some sort of game or event within whatever task you're trying to create or attain and never losing that motivation. So for me, it's about winning, it's about competing. You can lose, you can fail, you succeed, but as long as that will and that interest to compete is still there, you'll never be burnt out again. So that's it for me, signing off for today's special, special edition video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it a little bit short, but felt it was needed to say this year and after watching a ton of YouTube videos on this, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, peace!